Hello. And for anyone that missed our Christingle service earlier, here's a short video that lets you know how to make your Christingle and also what the bits of it mean for the Christmas story. So, a Christingle is one of these. You'll see it's got an orange and a ribbon and these spikes and a candle. And we're going to make one just now. So, in order to make one, you will need an orange, you will need some sticky tape, and you'll need your bag, your bag of the rest of your DIY kit. So let's open it and see what we've got inside. We have a wee tub of dried fruit. You might have raisins, you might have raisins and apricot. We have a red ribbon. We'll need that. We have a candle. We have a little cardboard circle. Now that's going to be important for catching the drips from the candle. And then we have some spiky sticks. You should have at least eight of these little cocktail sticks. And that will sort you out for those. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our ribbon round our orange. So you need your orange, you need a bit of tape, and you need, of course, your ribbon. So you get your ribbon, you get your orange, and it's as simple as wrapping the ribbon round the orange. It can be a bit fiddly, but you do that, wrap it round, wrap it round, if it overlaps that's fine, wrap it round and that's a good time once you've wrapped it all the way round you just want to put a bit of sticky tape over the end there and it's nice and secure. So that's our ribbon. Then we want to do our candle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick our candle into the top but we're going to do that with some of those pointy sticks. So this bit's a bit more fiddly. You probably want to do it on a, a desk or a table in front of you, but um, I'll try and do it so as I can show you. So you want a good long bit of tape, about that long, because that's going to be wrapped around your candle, the bottom of the candle, and we're going to put some sticks on it so that it sticks into the candle. So get one stick, put it on your tape. Lovely. And then another stick, and just a bit further along this time, a second stick. And that just needs to stick in. There we go. And then two, three, and four. So that's our third one. That's our fourth one. So now we've got four sticks on our bit of tape. And we're just going to do what I said. We're just going to wrap that round the base of our candle. So you can put that like that. Uh, wrap it around one way. Wrap it around the other way. And there we are. We've got a candle with some sticks coming out the bottom of it. Um, you might want the spikes to be slightly longer than that, so you just put it further down the candle. Got your, your orange, got your candle, you can guess what's going to happen here, can't you? So you do this, you put it in, and we are well on our way towards a Christingle now. The last bit are the four cocktail sticks that go around the outside. So they work like this. This is maybe a job that it helps to have a grown-up for. You get a cocktail stick. You get your bit of fruit and you just poke it through, being careful not to poke your own fingers, that would be sore. And you don't have to put any particular number on, um, but I put about three on, three or four. And so we've got our sticks with fruit on them. And you're going to make four of those, so I've got some pre-prepared ones. One, two, three and 
four and they're going to go nice and easy just round the four points of your orange. One, two, three, four. And the last bit, <coughs> just so as it catches any drips, is for your uh, is the cardboard disc. Now you can put, you can decorate this disc uh, before it goes on the candle. So you might want to write your name. You might want to write a wee thank you prayer to God, or something that you're really excited about this Christmas. You've got your cardboard disc. You can decorate it, and then it just goes over the top of the candle. And again, just be careful of the spikes that you put around the candle. And that will catch any drips coming down the side of the candle. So, what makes this a Christingle and not just an orange with some sticky points in it and a candle coming out? Well, a Christingle is a symbol that helps us remember some of the significance of the Christmas story. You'll know the Christmas story, the story about Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem, finding no room at the inn, and then Mary having a baby, Jesus, who would grow up to become the person people called the Son of God and would show God's love to the world. God showed love to the world. And so that's the first bit of the Christingle. The orange represents the whole world because God loves everyone in the world. Not just you, not just me, not just the people that lived 2,000 years ago at the same time as Jesus. The whole world. And God wrapped God's love round the world. And that's the ribbon. The ribbon is red because it represents love. And it also represents the fact that Jesus would die. Jesus is blood. Because Jesus died to show love for the world. And that story is the Easter story. After Jesus died, Jesus rose again and showed us that life was stronger than death. Jesus loves, God loves the whole world. And God made the whole world and the God gives us a good world that gives us the things we need so that on all four corners of the earth the world produces the things we need to eat. That's what the fruit symbolises. Just a symbol of all the good things the earth produces. It's a reminder too that we need to look after the earth if we want it to keep producing and if we want to live in harmony with creation. And then of course the candle. Of the four people who wrote stories about Jesus's life that are included in the Bible, one of them told the story by saying that when Jesus came, light came to the world. Light that shone in the darkness and that the darkness can never put out. We've had enough darkness this year to need to focus on the light. That's why we sometimes light Advent candles. That's why we have the candle as a symbol of Jesus, the light of the world. So now that you have your Christingle, you might, with me, want to light it and know that God loves the world and that God sent Jesus to be a light for the world. This Christmas time, may you know light in your life. May you be light to other people and may you know the 
blessing of God's love because you are one of God's children and you are loved more than any of us can imagine. Have a wonderful Christmas. God bless.